If you've never been quite sure on how to thread your machine, well, you're in luck because this video is going to demonstrate how to thread uh, your machine using the FAF Passport 2. So before you begin, you need to make sure that the pressure foot is raised and that the needle is at the highest position. So I'm going to do that right now. I am it's at the highest and the pressure foot is up. Now, of course, you need to place the thread on the spool pin and make sure that your caps are the right size for it and that the thread is reeling from the top. Uh, so uh, now the next thing, and this is where people can get to kind of get confused, uh, is that you have several arrows, but it always shows you like diff two different types of arrows, so you're not sure where you need to go. Well, the answer is very easy to understand, is that the first, this one here, you see like this is the first point to attach your thread. You have the option to go this way or the option to go that way. If you choose to go that way, it's because you want to uh, prepare a bobbin for the bottom part of your sewing machine. So if you're going to do that, either way, you do need to get that thread position onto that hook. So just simply glide it underneath and it's hooked. And that's important to create the proper tension for the following uh following whatever you need to do on your sewing machine. So if you're going to make a bobbin, see how the loop is? So you're actually going to make a circle this way. You're not just going around this way. You're actually creating a tension, turning it around that way, so that when you're making your spool, the thread is very tight, very um, nice. So you're going to have a nice spool that's tight so that it, your machine runs smoothly. That's the first secret. Now I want to thread the machine. So let's go the other way. So I'm simply going to put my thread onto the hook right here. And then I'm going to follow this line. Now by following the line, I'm going to be going below. Let me just move this a little bit so you can see I'm going to go below and I'm going to go right back up here. Because my needle is at the highest position, uh, it helps me find that little hook. And that's where it's really important that you have to go and bring. So let me just, I'm going to need my two fingers here. I'm going to make sure that the thread uh, <laughs> here, that's how I usually do it. The thread needs to snap and glide into the center part here, and then you can move the whole piece and go down below. So this is the tricky part. If it's not well positioned here, that's when you get a lot of tension problems in the bottom when you're sewing. So whenever you see a thread problem and it's not just a question of your tension here, just make sure that your thread is really in that hook right there because if it's not there, that's the tension problem that we see a lot on sewing machines okay so now that the upper portion is done we're going to go all the way back down to do the rest so now that we've reached the bottom we just have to position the thread in this uh, section here and then we need to also position it behind in the thread guide just before the needle so now your tension is uh, you have a nice uh, tension, your, your, your thread is well positioned, and you won't run into any problems uh, when sewing. So the last thing now that's to, that you need to do is to thread the needle. And with uh, the FAF Passport 2, you can simply bring down this little hook that's going to go in the eye of your needle, and you're going to simply position your thread right here, and pull back the hook and your thread has gone through the eye and you just have to go behind and grab that thread and it's very tough when you're when you have a camera between you and your sewing machine but you're gonna have to take my word for it that it's really simple and you can just go and grab it and pull it out there we go and you have threaded your machine and you are ready to start sewing.